Hey, welcome to another video in our jokes application. We're going to start increasing the security programming on our app now. So in this video, we are going to start by validating a form. And so this doesn't have anything to do with SQL injection attacks or any uh, slashes or any kind of special characters. We just want to make sure that our usernames and passwords are meeting our requirements. So right now you can put in the username and you can just put in uh, three characters and your password will pass. So we're going to enforce some rules here using something called regular expressions. The first thing I want to do is to show you a uh, page from W3Schools. So I'm using a, um, I'm going to be using a new uh, tool here called PregMatch. It's something built into PHP. And it will do a, a, a regular expression uh, search. So regular expressions are an entire language of uh, knowledge that uh, every programmer should know something about. And so this will hopefully give you some examples that you can start with if you've never seen them before. So let's see what the uh, preg match is supposed to do. So preg match takes a string, a very complicated looking string, and compares it to another string, a variable name called name in this case. And if this is not true, then we will print out an error message. So what is this doing? Well, this little caret symbol means start at the beginning of the uh, string. And the, the dollar sign means uh, go all the way to the last character of the string. And this in the center, this square bracket, means that every character between the first and the last must match this pattern. So the pattern is everything between a lowercase a and a lowercase z. So that means all the alphabetical characters, obviously. And then the uh, uppercase is the capital letters. And then they put in a space here. So this means only letters and white spaces are allowed for a username. So we're going to use something similar to that when we go to our form validation. Let's see what else they have. They have another uh, filter var. This tells us almost the same thing as pregmatch. And they have a predefined uh, email format. It's got to have an at symbol, a dot, you know, those kind of things. And so since that's so common, they've created a uh, pregmatch that's um, pretty much brainless. You don't have to think about how the uh, characters are designed or arranged. Here's one that's a little more complicated. How to validate a URL. So a URL has to have a HTTP and then the question mark means optional S. And then you have the www which is also optional. And then you have all this junk here that tells us what we can and cannot put in a URL. Hmm. Okay, so you can see regular expressions quickly get very complex. And so more than we're going to learn here, but that is an example. So here's, a, here's another some, some other code that would help us out. We have a post message and we have a preg match to see if the white spaces are allowed. We can filter email and the website. And then if it doesn't work, then we print a message. So let's go and adopt some of this. So I'm going into the process new user file. And before we uh, do anything about validating the username, let's see if we can validate if they follow our rules. So we're gonna start with a preg match statement. You can see that there are several things that we need to ask for. First of all, in first place is the string pattern, then the string itself. And then finally, it will create an array called matches, which will tell us how many different uh, times this uh, string occurred. So the first thing I want to do is fill in the strings. So I know that I'm going to have some kind of a string match in first position. I'll leave him empty for now. But I'm going to search through the new password one field and then put all the number of matches in an array called matches. So what I'm going to search for is a slash and a slash. That means the beginning and the end of our string. And I want to search through the entire password um, string and look for at least one digit. So the square bracket zero through nine says find any digit, and the plus sign means find one or more numbers. So I'm going to check to see if the uh, matches has zero entries. So that means if there's zero entries, there was no number found in the string. And so then I can exit the program and it will not let the user register. 
So that's a pretty simple example of using regular expressions. Let's do another search. This time I'm going to do a little more complicated uh, uh, regular expression. So let's type in pregmatch again and the uh, the field matching and then also the new new user name uh, the new password and the matches. So in this time I'm going to do a search for a bunch of special characters. So let's put a slash to begin and end the string and then square brackets with a plus sign behind it. Now that will allow us to fill in a list of all of the special characters and we have to have at least one of them. So I'm going to simply go through the uh, characters on my shift and top row so I can show that any of these special characters are required. So then I'm going to give a message on the console if the uh, person didn't put in a special character. So it'll say the password must have at least one special character like, uh, and then we have the whole list of punctuation marks. You know, let's test this out before we get too far. So let's, uh, let's go back and try to register a new user. So let's put in some name, and I'm going to put in ASDF for a password, and see what happens. So it says uh, the username is ASDF, the password, and, and the matching password was not a problem. However, it did not have at least one number. Okay, so let's back up, and let's put in a number. So let's put in a whole bunch of numbers, one, two, three, one, two, three. So I have a number now, and now it says you must have a special character. Oh, brother, this is annoying, but it's working like I designed it. So let's put in a one, two, three, exclamation mark. And let's see what that does. One, two, three, exclamation mark, and create the new user. And now it was successful. So one, two, three, exclamation mark apparently is a valid password. So let's return into our code again. Now I can think of another requirement. Of course, the other requirement could be Let's just make sure that the password length is greater than eight characters. And so if it's less than or equal to eight, then we'll say, no, you can't do that. We will exit the program. Okay, so let's try and register another user. Let's try one, two, three this time. I'm gonna use the same one, two, three exclamation mark for the password. And so this time it will tell us uh, we can't do that one because it's not long enough. So we are certainly annoying our users. Uh, we can't uh, let them put in insecure passwords. So let's do a preg match uh, search for example passwords. So Stack Overflow might have some examples here. I want to make sure that uh, we have special characters. So a lot of times when you're doing uh, regular expressions, you can find people that have already done work for you similar. So. Uh, here we go, at least one uppercase, one lowercase, one digit, one special sign, and the guy has all of this combined into one massive uh, regular expression that will um, help us uh, see if we can get our results. So that we could have just copied the code from here and then try to understand it by parsing through. But that's a good start for what regular expressions are used for in helping secure our application.